This is one of the most commonly found plays in Madden. You've probably seen it a million times as it's in every playbook in the game, sometimes more than once in several different formations. But did you know that you can actually score a one play touchdown against every defense in the game? Drop Whether you're on current gen or next gen? Drop so if you want to see the setups that make this the most overpowered play in Madden 23, Stick around after the intro. The For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The play that I'm going to highlight today goes by several different names. It is sometimes called the Seattle play, but it is more commonly called the verticals, four verticals, or verts. These plays can be found in several different formations such as the gun bunch, single bag bunch, and even the pistol bunch formation packages. So check your favorite team playbook for any bunch formations to see if you can find the following plays that will work with these setups. Such sub formation packages include the bunch, bunch base, bunch ace, bunch wide flex, bunch halfback strong, and many more as they are all basically the same and the setup should work the exact Exact same way. Before I get into the video though, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. I already put out another video like this about another commonly found play called the PA Crossers from formations like the Gun Trey Y Flex and various similar formations. So if you guys want to see that video, I have a link in the description for that. And if you want me to continue this series, I have several other commonly found plays that I can make videos like this about. So hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But if you don't want to wait and want to add more plays like this to your offer, or defense right now. I have a lot more plays like this in all of my ebooks. So if you want to check them out, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pen comment, and they will download instantly to your phone or laptop, or you can have them sent to the email of your choice. Now, there are several different versions of this play, and the only thing that really changes is the position of the quarterback and running back in the formation pre snap. If you choose this play in the single back formation, the quarterback will be under center, which usually shortens the distance the blistering defenders have to travel, which ultimately makes it easier for you to get sacked or pressured. So it is best to use this play from any shotgun or pistol formations if you have the choice as the quarterback starts the play at a much deeper depth, giving him much more time for the play to develop. Other than that, the only real differences with these plays are what the running back is doing. They will usually be doing a different check and release route, but the best version of this play, in my opinion, is any play where the running back is running a route like this, as this particular route can get open against any man or zone. So if you're looking for the best version to add to your custom playbook offense, this is the variation that I would recommend. I'm going to start off with cover two zone defense as this is probably going to be the most unique setup. You will always want to run these plays from the hash mark to the open side of the field. Never run these plays to the short side of the field as it will raise your chances of catching the ball either out of bounds or even worse, throwing an interception. For cover two zone, there is two different setups. The most important part is to put the A route or the X route, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, on a streak to pull back the safety. You can run it just like this, but I find it's best to motion out the wheel route to get more space and separation from the safety is he'll be the only thing that can stop this route on this play. Once you see the wheel route get even with the backpedaling cornerback, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead up and away from the safety. As you can see, the cornerback typically won't be able to turn around fast enough with the receiver as he's already in a full sprint, giving you an easy one play touchdown as long as you can beat the safety. This same setup can also have success against cover two man, but you'll need a much faster receiver to get the same type of separation as the cornerback will typically be following the entire way since it's a man coverage. You can also put the RB or the R1 route on an out route to try to pull the cornerback down faster in cover two zone, but at the same time, I feel like this setup is a little less explosive. So to me, the best setup is the first one. Against cover two zone, you could also use a single wide receiver on the other side of the field as well. You just need to motion over either the running back or tight end and put him on a streak to once again pull back the safety. Then just bullet and pass lead up and away from the safety and we'll see that you can have another one play touchdown option, although with a slightly smaller throwing window. For the rest of these defenses, we'll be focusing on a different route as the crossing RB route is really one of the best on the play as it beats man or zone the most consistently. Next up, we're going to focus on man coverage. Against man cover one, just streak the tight end once again to pull the safety back. After that, you just need to get the man defender on the X route out of the way so they can't make the tackle after the catch. So you can really put them on a number of man beating options for a check down. Routes like slants, drags, zigs, or a comeback route is the best option as there really isn't any other man beating option on this play. 
Once the RB route breaks for the second time, this route will usually create enough separation that you can complete the pass versus any man coverage and can get a catch and run one play touchdown if your receiver is fast enough to run away from the man defender and avoid the safety. This exact same setup can work against man zero blitz. You will just need to block the running back since the defense usually is sending six or more defenders, but the route beats man zero the exact same way. Now all these setups should work the exact same way whether you're on current gen or next gen, but when it comes to cover three, they will react very differently, and I will have a different setup depending on which console you play on. I will first start off with next gen before showing a super glitchy current gen setup that might be the one of the best out of all the setups that I showed today. Against cover three, run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field once again and motion out the wheel route to spread the defense as much as possible. You will then want to streak the tight end once again and put the X route on a comeback route to pull the cover three cornerback down to let the crossing route get open over the top. You will see the cornerback reacts and stays down on the comeback route, giving plenty of space between him and the safety for a big catch and run that is more than capable of a big play that can also be a one play touchdown. Cover through and current gen is very different as the defenders don't react to the comeback route the same way. In my experience, the current gen cover three can be very tough to beat as they feel like they're in a matching concept at all times, which we can actually use against it to our advantage. To set this play up, we must once again run this play from a hash mark to the open side of the field and motion in the X receiver as he is going to be the target for only the second time in this video. Because the deep coverage acts like match coverage, you just have to wait for the outside cornerback to react to the crossing receiver. You will see that as the crossing receiver comes into his area, he slows down and drops back down to pick him up. Once he does this, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the free safety before he has a chance to rotate over and pick up the X route and you will have a very easy and glitchy one play touchdown against cover three on current gen consoles. Just make sure to practice the timing of this throw and it is very different than any of the other one play touchdown setups and will probably take some time to get used to. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, once again, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have another video popping up on the screen with another play that can be found in just about any playbook in the game that scores against just about every defense in the game. So if you guys want to add that to your arsenal as well, just click the link on the screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.